hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay so due to popular request today i'm bringing to you a very detailed video of beef jollof rice without wasting time let's just get started so first of all i've got some ingredients over here i've got a whole onion cut into pieces i've got a little bit of ginger i've also got two pieces of chili pepper and finally i've got some garlic i'll go ahead and blend them together i've also got my fresh beef over here it's been chopped into pieces in this recipe i'm using about 600 grams of beef i'll get a saucepan and come in with the beef next i'll pour half of the blended ingredients onto it i'll come in with my favorite seasoning black pepper curry salt to taste i'll pour in about half a glass of water i'll cover this up and put it on medium fire to cook i'll cook this for about 40 minutes so it's been after about 40 minutes is ready so i'll put off the fire and let it cool down I'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil. I will come in with about a tablespoon full of white flour. Then I will drop in my cooked beef. Don't forget we're doing this on medium to high fire. I will let this fry for about 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see the meat has fried very well and is so crispy. I will just get it out of the oil. Now I'll put another pan on fire and come in with the oil I used in frying the meat. This will help retain the flavor. Next, I'll pour the remaining half of the blended ingredients in the hot oil. I'll fry it for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is very essential in giving your jollof rice the best taste ever. You need to make sure all the water has evaporated. So as you can see, it has fried very well now. I'll go ahead and squeeze in some concentrated tomatoes. This will be about a little spoon or 50 grams. I'll give it a good mix and let it fry for about 5 minutes more. I must tell you my kitchen smells so good now. Now I'll come in with some fresh tomatoes. I'll be using about 150 grams. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. I'll come in with some soy sauce my favorite seasoning curry i'll grate in some nutmeg and finally i'll pour in the stock from the beef i'll give us a good mix I'll add some salt to taste. I must tell you, when cooking jollof rice, you should up your salt a little bit because when you put the rice inside, it's going to suck some of the salt. So whenever you put salt in the stew, make sure it's a little bit salty because after the rice has sucked some salt, it's going to be so tasteless. Cover this up and let it cook on slow fire for about 30 minutes. This is very essential. Now let's go on and choose our rice. I love to use jasmine perfumed rice for my jollof. This is the best ever. I mean, you can use basmati rice, but I prefer jasmine polished perfume rice. 
so it's been after about 40 minutes and our stew is ready as you can see the water has evaporated and it has really diminished in quantity this is how you do it guys you don't put the rice in a watery stew it wouldn't come out good it's time for the rice to go in personally i love to wash my rice before using it if you don't wash it you know it's just up to you it's a personal choice then i'll put my washed rice into the stew i'll stir fry this for about four minutes Afterwards, I'll come in with about half a cup of water. I'll give it a good mix. Don't forget we're doing this on low fire now. If you do this on medium to high, it's going to burn. You need patience to cook good jollof rice. I'll cover this up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. So I'll check on this again. It's been after 10 minutes and as you can see, the water has evaporated. So I'll go ahead and come in with a little bit more of water I'll give us a good mix be sure to stir always so that it doesn't stick to the bottom I'll go ahead and cook it for about 10 more minutes again the water has evaporated I'll come in with a little bit more of water and give it a good mix This time, I will cover it up with an aluminium foil. This will help trap in all the moisture. I will cover this up again and let it cook for 10 more minutes. After 10 minutes, I will check on it again. The rice is still not ready but it's got some moisture in it so this time i'm not going to put in any more water i'll just cover it again with the aluminium foil and let it cook for 10 more minutes still on low fire so finally it is cooked now it is ready the rice is very well cooked our jollof rice is ready now i will come in with some sweet pepper this will give it some extra flavor some carrots spring onions sweet corn and my fried beef i'll go ahead and mix everything up I'll cover this again and let it sit on the lowest fire for about five minutes more. Finally, finally, it is ready to be served. Ladies and gentlemen, you are invited to one of my favorite dishes. I must tell you it tastes super delicious i wish i could make you taste this but it's just impossible you will have to try it out for yourself if you do let me know how it comes out for you if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one Bye-bye.